Can you see me now? Good. Welcome to We Smoke It. Dot dot dot. I think I forgot that last week. Also known as an hour ago. As now. That's right. Hey. This episode. Do you know that we are still in the Dabbit Off Lounge? week. At least. I haven't changed clothes. <laughs> Nor have I. Hey, you know, you do what you gotta I do. smell fantastic. Yes, you do. I was going to tell you that. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Uh, so you were saying about this week? This week's episode brought to you by Foothills People's Porter. <laughs> they just don't know it yet. <laughs> As opposed to Woodford. That's right. Yes. Who normally sponsors <sighs> us without knowing? Without knowing it. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So how have you been? It's been so long. Man, I'll tell you. Please do. That's why I ask. I've been fabulous. I love fabulous. I've just been hanging out here. Fabulous been hanging out here. Mm-hmm. I love it. Uh, looking at the fireplace in the wall. Oh. Um, the building that burned down. Admiring the fine brickwork. Yes. For a week. Second straight week in right. the Davidoff Lounge. Yep. Yep. We have arrived, my friend. We have and never left because they would not let us come back in. No, no, no. And I forgot the code. So it sure works out back. very, very nicely for you and I. Right. Yes. Not for them. Far from it. But it's okay. As you see, the lounge is actually empty. It is. And it could be because you and I have not showered. Uh, well, well, you know, most people, I found a nice closet to hide in. Oh! So most people don't know that I'm actually here. I've been sleeping in a chair. Well, that's probably why they're not here then. I still love the lights. Well, blame you. I do like the lights. I need to get some of these lights. They're probably really Can't expensive. afford them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'll stick to my fluorescence. Fair enough. Hey, what are we smoking this week? This is a cigar. Oh, I'm so excited. Just like every other week. Yes. This is the Davidoff Lounge Edition. What is a lounge edition? Well, I've heard it's a small puma outside of Nicaragua. A puma? But it's also a type of cigar. (laughs) Going back to the puma, please tell me more. Well, you know, they hitch rides in on the backs of the fairies. Oh. They start out really small. Ooh, the Estelian fairies. Super small pumas. So we've got a Davidoff cigar based out of the Dominican Republic. That has Nicaraguan pumas. With Nicaraguan pumas. That's correct. The hitch rides on the backs of Estelian fairies. Yep. Okay. People's port. Right, fair enough. One picture and you're in good shape, Kevin. No, no, it's, it's the lounge edition. Only dive off lounges, hence the word lounge. Yes, edition, yes. Get these cigars. Okay. Um, Burns Tobacconist here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Was Happens to be a dive off lounge. They do. They and uh, they still are. Yes. This place is gorgeous. Fabulous. Uh, probably can't see it on the video. But there they may have got a good be, glimpse whenever the camera fell off the little stage. Probably on. into the ashtray by, uh, by you know. That's gonna be uh, great. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, we've got a fireplace burning in the background. Mm-hmm. Still, a week later, their gas bill's gonna be like a freaking thing. And bucks. buddy, at seventy degrees, let me tell you how freaking hot that thing is in a hat and a sweatshirt. A little toasty. I'm wearing a oh, sweater vest. I love your sweater. And lightning bolt socks. You look lovely. Thank you. As always. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll try. Anyway, Lounge Edition Cigar. Um, it's a Toro. Mm. It's made by Davidoff. <laughs> El Bull Toro. Da, 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 da. So, it's made by Davidoff. And <laughs> no. that means it's Dominican. That's about all we know. Because Garrett Calhoun, Ooh. shout out, is probably hanging out with CM Punk or... Ted DiBiase, million dollar something, somewhere, and didn't reply to any of our texts. You text him, I text him, our spectators. It's because Garrett's a jerk. I wasn't going to say it. I'll say it. There's that. Yes. Won't return phone calls. Nope. Won't return texts. Nope. Won't return rocks on his window in the evening, nope. although that was not me. None Allegedly. of Allegedly. None of it. Anywho, so we don't know what the blend is. Ah! On the cigar. That's a long story short. I know what it is. Garrett wouldn't reply to it. Okay, what is it? The Davidoff Lounge Edition. Mm-hmm. Being Davidoff. Yep. I've already said Dominican. 
And because of my expert palate, yep. the Davidoff Lamb tradition is obviously 100% Dominican Republic Pura. Wow. I know. I just said Right? Yeah, yeah baby. Two minutes ago. You didn't say Pura. Anyway. So. You said Estelia. What are you thinking so far? Just, just Puma. It's a Dominican Puma. I'm going to say Pura. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what are you thinking so far about the cigar? Uh, you know what? I'm kind of biased. Hmm. Thank you. And you know why? I'm kind of biased. Why? Because it was blended by one Hanky Kellner, or Henrik Hanky Kellner. Hanky Kellner, for 15 years, has been my absolute favorite blender of cigars. The Puro Doro happens Puro Doro. to be a, yeah, one of my absolute favorite cigars of all time. It's a fine cigar. Because it was his brainchild. The 100th anniversary from Davidoff, the Salomon. The Robusto was good, but the, the Figurado, Salomon, whatever you want to call it. The, the original release, 100th anniversary, is still to this day in my top five as far as the greatest cigars of all time, regardless. So I tend to be fairly biased when it comes to anything that the calendar touches and produces, uh, because I think all of it's marvelous. A little background check there for you. That was free of charge. What do you think? Oh, thank you. I didn't know if you were going to ask me or not. I so try not to. I tend to be rude. I don't know Keller. Turnabout is fair play. So. Don't know. Hanky? Senior, whatever. Kanky? Kankle. Kankle? I'm Hanky. pretty sure you just blasphemed the entire cigar industry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know Hanky Kellner. Is that better? Fair enough. Okay. I don't know Hanky Kellner. I love Hanky you Kellner. again. Thank you. Mm. I don't know Hanky Kellner. Yes. So I'm not biased. Um, I so we'll say you. that. I'm not biased. No. I also don't smoke a lot of Davidoffs because I'm poor. No, fair enough. So, what are you, uh, speaking of being poor, mm. Zeno Davidoff at one point in time was poor. Probably, but actually, I, you know, maybe not. Probably not. Actually said, when it came to Davidoff and asked about the price point on it, he said, smoke less. However, when you do smoke, smoke the best. And that's how he came out with Davidoff. So what are you getting thus far out of your Davidoff lounge edition, which we we smoke it, tend to be smoking a ton of limited stuff because we're that well loved. We are loved. So I'm not getting a whole lot. Oh. That's my problem with Davidoff. The only Davidoff I've ever enjoyed. I've not had the, I've not had the hundred. And that's because I, I didn't buy it. I'm not having Millennium. Because you wouldn't buy those ones. Right, right, right. I've had the Pure Aura. I love Pure Aura. Mm. That's Magical. the only Davidoff I've ever liked. So you had the Pure Doro. Yeah. And you liked it. I did. I just don't get a lot out of them. This is no different. It's like there's some decent flavors through like the retro hail, mm -hmm. but just generally smoking it, like if I'm smoking a Nicaraguan, which can make it probably crapper, <laughs> a Nicaraguan, I feel like. Which happens to be just about every yeah. week. I yes. get a lot of flavor out of yes. it. Yes. I just don't get a ton of flavor out of this, and it just, it's frustrating to me, because I want to like it, because it's a Davidoff. Davidoff, right. you know legendary name in the industry and I understand they make good quality products but the flavor is just not there for what I'm what my palate tends to enjoy so I'm not getting a lot of it so your palate tends to enjoy overpowering flavors that you do not have to work to define yes mm. okay 
On the retro hell, it's good though. Ooh. Just on the general like palate. Eh. I've also been drinking beer, so <laughs> palate's not the freshest in the world. That could be part of the problem because right now this is a very very full body beer for not very. Full out of beer. this, I'm getting a lovely cedary spice coming off of this cigar. Now, granted. I'll go way less body, I, probably mild to medium, uh, and uh, you know, built in the vein of like the Millennium Blend, which is more punch from Davidoff, I, I get mild to medium out of the cigar, but I'm okay with that. Uh, like I said, the Davidoff 100th anniversary was one of the mildest cigars at that point in time, but still, again, one of my top five, just based on the taste and flavor that you got out of it, and I'm getting more of the same out of the lounge edition. Now these, granted, as provided by Burns Tobacco for the review, thank you again Mike and the guys from Burns. I, Sponsored by Foothills, Peoples Porter, and Burns Tobacco downtown. Fair enough. Uh, they've, they've been set back just a little bit for us, but I, I'm getting a ton of diversity amongst the flavors. On the retro hell I am. Like, right. I'm getting the cedary, I'm getting the leathery wood. I mean, I'm getting a lot of good complex flavor on the retro hill, but just like in my mouth, where I would normally pick up a lot more flavor out of something that's more full body, I don't get that out of this. And to my, my preference, it's not as good as. How are you doing? Hey! I just got shushed. <laughs> You're. F oh, never! It's okay. Live TV audience. Our lovely wait staff. Ha! Can Here at the Burns Tobacconist Davidoff Lounge, we've got our own private server. We do. It's amazing. It's fabulous. Anyhow. If you're in Chattanooga, come here. Must stop. Yep. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not necessarily bad. It's just not what I'm normally accustomed to in the flavors. Because I don't get any of the flavors really on my, in my mouth. It's more on the retro. Retro is great. <laughs> a lot of flavor. I can play a lot of. Aroma, no flavor in I'm your mouth. Tasting huh? it, case, tasting it in my nose, my nose holes. Oh, that's good. But this no, one, no flavor in your mouth. You know, sometimes I don't like flavor in the mouth. I, I understand. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm way different. My tongue is tingling with joy because of this cigar. You're also drinking scotch. No. Uh. Yes, <laughs> but it does. Like my tongue is kind of going. <laughs> I mean, it's it's really got all these tingly places that's hitting my tongue in at least like three different places on it. I mean, it's it's just really my taste buds are dancing right now, my friend. I wish I shared your experience mm. in that. Like I said, it's not necessarily bad. It's just I'm not getting a lot out of it. So if you're looking for a mild cigar, you know, like some of the retro health's great, but just generally smoking it, it's mild. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So, live TV audience, if we were going to a website to look for no the way. Davidoff Lounge Edition out of Chattanooga, Tennessee, where should we go to locate said cigar? You can talk. They don't have a website yet. No website. We're updating, We're updating our website right but now. But you However, can contact you can go to Facebook. Burns Tobacconist on the Facebooks. Facebooks and the Twitters. Out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Downtown, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Go check them out. Uh, and uh, locate Mama. all of your cigar needs. Shout out David Jones. Leaf enthusiast. Leaf enthusiast, Work yes. Employee yes. here at Burns Downtown. Yes. That may or may not have something to do with the reason we're here. Fellow friend of the program. That's right. Which we need a lot more friends. We welcome all your friends. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. So, your final verdict on the cigar. We smoke it and you should too. Like I said. Mm -hmm. Really? For me. Based yes. on your review? Here's the thing. I didn't say it was bad. Actually, I wasn't going to line out of it. Okay. For me. I would not, if I came in here and I went into their humidor, if this cigar is sitting there next to a cigar that rhymes with Pinejo, for instance. Pinejo. Pinejo. Rhymes with that, kind of. Ends with a note. If 
it's sitting next to that cigar. Yes. Like a, anyway. Which is only released once a year. Okay. Yeah, once a year. If it's sitting next to one of those cigars. Yes. With like a Maduro wrapper, it's more full bodied. I'm gonna pick the Panejo up <laughs> rather than the Lounge Edition <laughs> because it just ha it just my flavor profile preference is more full bodied. Now, if someone likes a mild to medium cigar, something a little more Let laid back. Let me ask you the question in a different way. Okay. Because obviously price point tends to be very important when it comes to cigars. Yes, especially for me. So... I would never buy this cigar. As far we'll as that. we smoke it, and you should too. Yes. This cigar retails at around $20 a stick. Yes. Do you still maintain we smoke it, and you should too? Depends on the person. I didn't ask about the person. I asked about you. I'm reviewing the flavor, not the price point. How are you reviewing it all, Captain? I'm not reviewing the price point. Okay. If it's an issue of these two cigars are sitting here, which one are you going to smoke? If you like a mild medium cigar, this is the one to smoke. Personally, I'm going to go with something more full body. It's also $6 cheaper. Give or take. Depending right. on the market. Fair enough. I absolutely thank you for asking. Hey! Love it. Well, hey, hey, hold on. What do you think about the cigar? I love it. Thank you. Still, this cigar is outstanding. Uh, if you're looking for something in that medium body range and you want something way out of the box, just magical, uh, Hank Kellner has knocked it out of the park one more time. He is and biased. Not only, are you, I, I said that at the beginning. I'm just reiterating. I 100% agree. But from my favorite blender, wow. My favorite blender is the Ninja. Have you seen those? They had the four blades in them. From Different Gurkha? speeds? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, well, Kai had a relationship with Davidoff. Uh, shout out to Kai's on. Uh, so, so, yeah, I, I'm going with a healthy. We smoke it, and I don't care if they charge 200 bucks for it. You should, too. Just me. I love it. It's a good cigar if you want something mild or medium. I just don't like those cigars. <laughs> preference wise. It's not a bad cigar, it's not my preference. Mm. So you need something that's gonna hurt you. Yes. I Pure understand. de Oro, true or false? Pure de Oro is a more full body cigar. I'd go about the same on body. Uh, I'll shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's very got more similar to it. I'm far from it. You it's can taste the Pure de Oro on your palate. You can't <laughs> taste this unless you do retro hail. <laughs> We'll see you next week. On We Smoke It. Unless we break up. While we're still arguing. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Tired of it. Ah!